Hi guys, this video is about um, advantage of super long stroke engine over short stroke engine or long stroke engine over short stroke engine. So there are several advantage advantages actually and I will be describing each one. The first one is a higher torque. Actually there is a lot of doubt regarding this thing because people used to say that it's, it's the stock will be the same even if it is a short stroke or a long stroke but uh, actually there is some difference is there. Because as we know torque is equal to force into distance so that is a perpendicular distance so even if we increase the force or the distance either of this one we could increase we could increase the torque so any of any of this quantity can be if, if we can increase then the torque also can be increased so in super long stroke engines or long stroke engines what we are actually doing is we are increasing this distance for example in okay this engine this piston okay this is yeah this is a crank this is the connecting rod this is a connecting rod this is a piston this is a cylinder i'll write this cylinder connecting rod and this one is the piston so as you can see um, there is a relation actually this this is the crank throw or we could even call it as a web so um, the stroke length is actually is equal to 2 into double of the crank throw because as you know that when the crank throw when, when this crank throw is at this position the piston will be at TDC and when the crank throw is at this position bottom position the piston will be at the BDC or uh, this so here the force is actually acting upon on top of here on top of the piston right and this is the perpendicular distance so if we increase this length what will happen we can produce more torque because the force is same we are not going to do anything with the force we have to produce more torque so what we are doing we are increasing the length of this crank throw so if we increase the crank throw what is happening there is a relation for the stroke length also so if we increase the crank throw it will also increase the stroke length because this is actually see this one this distance this will be the uh, this will be the total distance uh, or this will be same as that of stroke length suppose this is the stroke length and this also will be the stroke length so if we increase the length of this one this distance also will increase so thereby the stroke length is also increased so actually what we are doing is that in order to produce more torque we are increasing the distance so thereby the torque is increased so this is one case okay so but this is in case of uh, long stroke engines okay this long stroke engine long stroke engine okay for example in case of a shorter stroke engine or having a la larger ball dia in that case see here the piston is there okay here the combustion is taking place here right combustion will be taking place here and the pressure is acting on here and acting upon this area we know there is one more equation like force is equal actually pressure in area so <clears throat> If we increase the area over here or the, or the area in which this pressure is acting upon, we could also increase the force. So even if we use large bore diameter engines or short stroke engines, then also we can produce more torque, right? So in that case, we are producing more force here. Here we are producing more force because the area is large and the torque is actually equal to force into, force into distance, right? So here, the force we are increasing but the distance will remain the same so there will be confusion so uh, like uh, which one we should choose because if we choose the long stroke engines we could increase uh, the distance and thereby increase the torque or even if we choose short stroke engine then also we could increase the force because the area is more then also we could increase the torque but actually what actually the advantage that we get by increasing the distance is way more than uh, the advantage that we get by increasing the force because uh, 
yeah we are getting more actually by increasing the population by increasing the population distance that is why the reason even truck engines or, uh, or even our ship engine which which requires more amount of torque are using this super long stroke engines or long stroke engines so uh, higher torque that is that is one of the main advantage of using long stroke engine and yeah that's all then the next one is increased thermal efficiency so the second one is increased thermal efficiency increased thermal efficiency means like uh, for example uh, if in case of um, long stroke engine okay this is a piston okay this uh, combustion is actually happening here okay and suppose i am taking this volume as constant okay combustion chamber volume is a constant v and the combustion will be taking place here okay in case of uh, larger bore okay larger bore this is is actually way bigger it's actually not that much so larger bore piston okay this is just a schematic representation it's not like actual uh, but still this volume is also remain the same here this gap is less but the surface area is small and the volume is remaining same this both volume is the same v1 v2 v1 is equal to v2 so the combustion this is the place where the combustion is actually happening so anyway if the combustion happens in larger bore this is what long stroke long stroke this is short stroke right the short stroke engine so in short stroke engine what is happening that here we have got larger surface area as compared to a long stroke engine here we have got less surface area so larger surface area means a larger heat dissipation so when the combustion happens more amount of heat will be dissipated because of this larger surface area so that energy we that energy will be wasted we cannot use that energy in order to push this piston downwards so uh, that is not uh, that is not i mean useful that energy is not useful so when we have long stroke engine we have got less surface area so the heat dissipated or the heat energy that wasted uh, because of a heat dissipation will be much lesser as compared to a larger bore uh, engine or short stroke engine so that's that's how the thermal efficiency is increased in uh, long stroke engines so the second point is also clear then the third one is better scavenging better scavenging is especially that is uh, for uniflow scavenging because in uniflow scavenging suppose yeah here we have got the piston and uh, here our like our exhaust valve okay and uh, here our scavenge ports okay the piston will be coming like that anyway yeah so uh, okay so it's like um, yeah when scavenging happens the fresh air comes over here and it will be uh, the piston will be down uh, will be here that time it will be tdc so the fresh air will be coming over here and it will be going it will be coming over here and it will enter inside the uh, combustion chamber or inside the cylinder so in case of long stroke engine the distance here it is much more as compared to short stroke engine short stroke engine will be having only this much distance between the tdc and the bdc so uh, the advantage is that because of long stroke engine the air which is coming through the scavenge port has to travel more distance as compared to a short uh, short um, i mean short stroke engine in order to reach the exhaust wall because uh, because here it has got more length that is only reason so the air that is that will escape the fresh air that will escape through this exhaust valve will be much lesser in long stroke engine as compared to short stroke engine and that escaping of fresh air is called short circuiting so actually um, long stroke engine has got less probability of short circuiting as compared to um, uh, short stroke engines so that is that's how the scavenging efficiency is improved or it's higher in case of long stroke engines so scavenging also finished then low quality fuel can be burned that is a fourth reason so low quality fuel means the fuel uh, has got more ignition delay or it's it takes more time to burn that's what happening so um, in if if the piston has to travel a more distance or uh, here it it has to it will be traveling more distance so 
um, this long stroke engines is getting um, more time as compared to short stroke engine uh, to burn the fuel and that is what I, uh, that is what the advantage of long stroke engine and uh, um, yeah that's it if I go detail I think that video will go longer so anyway uh, that much only I'm telling now then high compression ratio high compression ratio uh, nothing but as you know because here the volume is uh, only this much and uh, high compression ratio is yeah here the volume the piston will be moving from uh, BDC to TDC to a greater length and uh, the air that enters inside will be compressed much more as compared to a short stroke engine because in short stroke engine the piston actually yeah I don't know so it's not showing right Just, yeah here I will show in a short stroke engine piston is moving maybe only this much distance okay so it is only compressing this much when the piston moving only this much right but in long stroke engine the piston is moving maybe this much extra this also so that time the amount of that air that is compressed will be much more because the piston is moving from year to year and that time also more amount of uh, the amount of air that will compress is much more so that is the reason higher compression ratio can be achieved in um, long stroke engine so other thing improved jacket cooling efficiency improved jacket cooling efficiency means like uh, in long stroke engine we have got see for example piston is here okay and this much area okay here if this camel is coming here okay anyway this much area here we get for cooling right because of long stroke here this much area we can put the water for jacket cooling but in long stroke engine that area will be uh, for example if the piston like that only this much or less because of the stroke length is not that much here we are getting more surface area so more surface area more heat transfer we can obtain so that is why we are saying improved jacket cooling efficiency then the other one reduces specific fuel oil consumption about six percentage because it can be obtained because as i said before high compression ratio so the compression if you increase the compression ratio itself uh, it will produce more power so we don't have to use that much amount of fuel so eventually or uh, automatically it will reduce the uh, amount of fuel that required to produce that the same amount of power or if you wanted to, or otherwise we could say we can produce more power because um, more more fuel more air is compressed or more energy more exp more powerful explosion can take place in the combustion chamber so more energy can also be uh, produced so we don't want to increase the energy we just want the same energy then you can reduce the fuel of consumption then you can produce the same amount of energy what you wanted so that's what actually happening if, if the compression ratio increases we don't have to if, if a higher compression ratio that is actually an advantage we don't have to use the same amount of oil or we could reduce the amount of fuel oil that required to produce that much power then burn duration is less that is another advantage that is like uh, in short stroke engine so sorry in long stroke engine so combustion chamber piston here the burning happen here right for short stroke engine or larger bore engines the burning happening here okay but this burning here the burn happened almost around in the combustion chamber and it as the burning happening here and it has to expand first to the surrounding area then it will push the piston downwards right so here the burning happens here and then thereafter this explosion it has to expand further to the sideways then only it will push down the piston downwards so it takes a little more time in case of uh, larger board uh, engines to reach I mean because it takes time to expand that uh, explode that fire to sideways first then only it will be because it has to um, you know first the energy has to produce inside the combustion chamber full then 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 only it will be pushing the piston downward so it takes more time or it takes uh, yeah it takes more time as compared to short stroke engine so that is why the reason why we can use even uh, this thing what uh, 
uh, low quality fuel also because here it's not that a problem here it's already it will take a long time I mean, so it, it as compared to this one short stroke a long stroke engine it takes more time so uh, so the what happens the burn duration is less in in case of uh, a long stroke engine the burn burn duration is less because it's burning and immediately it will produce a power and it, it it because we don't have to expand to the sideways it will the it will cause the pistons to move downwards immediately so here so, so we can even use a low quality fuel a little low quality fuel so that it will not affect much further but here if you use the low quality fuel this will again you know the piston will be moving down means every time even the burning that time also the piston is moving right if the explosion happens not here when the piston is over here see even if it's here only this much distance gap okay but the volume will be this much in this this explosion happens in this volume it is a higher volume as compared to this one so if this explosion happens in this bigger volume it will not produce that much energy to push the piston downwards so it won't not be that much efficient that's why we cannot use the low quality fuel and also it takes time to go in sideways so the burn duration is more in case of uh, short stroke engines of larger bore engines that is why now nowadays we can see that the multiple injectors we are using because if you use one injector over here one injector over here the explosion happens here and here at the same time and it's already filled we don't we are not wasting any time to fill uh, or expand the inside means we are not wasting any time to fully expand uh, the fire inside the combustion chamber because already it started in both side it is uh, fire has happened at the same time so energy it, it will be like very instant an explosion and more energy or, or the, all the energy that produced by the fire can be used to push the piston downwards so that is what the advantage of burn duration is less in case of uh, long stroke engines the other one the last one is high piston speed or high air turbulence so we know that in long stroke engine the piston has to travel a long distance right so it has to travel a long distance so if you are taking a constant rpm in that case uh, in co constant rpm for short stroke as well as long stroke this this long stroke piston has to travel more distance so it will be traveling from here to here that means it, uh, that means it has to travel uh, at a higher velocity so in case of long stroke engine uh, the, uh, the piston speed mean piston speed that is 2sm by 60 s is the stroke length 2 is the double because it's acting up and down for one revolution of the crank and n is the rpm so this is what the mean piston speed piston speed so mean piston speed will be higher in case of long stroke engine so when the mean piston speed is higher that means the air which is inside the combustion chamber can uh, it get more turbulence so it will be um, more turbulence means that the air is more agitated having more energy and better fuel burning will happen so that is actually helping for better combustion so that is also an advantage of long stroke engine so these are all the advantages that i have noted so i think you all understand this thing thank you thank you for the video